How fond of your memories here? Oh, it's been fantastic times here. It brings it all home, you know. I popped down here a couple of weeks ago to watch your um, soul when in South End when he brought South End here, and yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, it rekindled all the all the memories because I hadn't been down here since I left in 2009 and stuff. No. So um, yeah, it's, uh, unfortunately I couldn't work for the owners that were that were here at that time. Uh, there you go. But the, the the fans treated me so well when I was here, and it, we had such fantastic times, and it was really roaring, wasn't it? It's banging here um, back in the day. So, yeah, really, really happy times. You will remember when this ground rocks and you're against all, you're, you're the total underdogs and you're playing someone like AC Milan, so you will know what can happen here. <laughs> they tell me we got voted like the best game in, in, in Pompey history or something. Yeah, it was, you know, I remember Triori, who couldn't really defend, bless him, and Bel- Belhadi. I yeah, think he pronounced it. Right. Yeah. The two of them were fantastic going forward, and for the first 20 minutes we were on fire. And big Cabal, do you remember big Cabal? Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's knocked one in, awesome. And then just kind of just so exciting. I remember the game being so exciting, and uh, you know, unfortunately they brought on their you know Ronaldinho or whatever he was, and stuck a free kick in and, and got the draw. But it's typical Cabal to be honest with you. We were talking about it with my friend coming up here, going how awesome he can be, but at the other side defending wise sometimes it was uh, you know it's one of those options for me I knew we couldn't really defend so we might as well have gone for it and uh, I did all my training that week I always remember just putting balls in behind them and just going for it really and nearly pulled it off and also part of course of the FA Cup winning team yeah, that was fun. Uh, I was looking back through the results, actually, you know, one nil. Uh, David James was awesome, you know what I mean? But so was the back four, so was all of them. You know, we had a good defensive. It was a pleasure working with those guys. Top top defenders, top unit, top top goalkeeper. And, you know, one nil at Ipswich. I remember David James being awesome. The way at Portsmouth, one nil, uh, sorry, Preston. Yeah. You know, Preston, one nil again, you know, and you've got the Man United, one nil. You've got the West Brom, one nil. It's like one nil to the, uh, to, to, to the Pompey, wasn't it? I brought it. We used to call it uh, uh, was it Pompey on sea did we, uh, we used to call it here you know we had a few Arsenal players and canoe big canoe got the goal for us in the final didn't he against Cardiff so yeah fantastic I think a bit disappointed we conceded against Plymouth at home to be honest yeah, with you it's a 2-1 you know what I mean it's the only goal we conceded in the competition yeah. so uh, yeah proud of my part in that um, obviously, we had some fantastic players, and uh, Harry was. You know, I always remember Harry in the in the, in the um, quarter final, quarter final against Man U, putting Barros on for us, and Barros hadn't done a thing for us, you know, since he arrived on loan from Leon, and we was like, I said, Harry, you know, don't steal your money, you know, what's that got? He said, No, nah, I got it, you know, typical Harry, you know, I've got a gut feeling, I've got a gut feeling. I said, Well, go for it then, I can't see it, and then bang, he's got a you know pen for us, and the rest is his. So you know we we rode our, rode our luck up there, but you know it was uh, it was a pleasure to um, to win the FA Cup with Portsmouth as a coach. That was great fun. It all opened up for you after that Man United game. That's what we always say. It opened up that side of the draw. Yeah, yeah I, I think West Brom. You know, not taking nothing away from West Brom and Cardiff, who were two decent teams, but. You know, we, we you know, had some great players, you know what I mean? We spent a hell of a lot of money, you know, the old owner, as it happens. And then we know the, the history of that, where that can go. Um, a bit of boom and bust, but it did bring some fantastic players down here, you know. And uh, like I say, it was every day on the training pitch, it was phenomenal. Now, people like Pedro Menza I've met recently. And, you know, I, was in, I think I was influential in, in getting him picked on the day. I think he wanted to go for Papa Diop. Uh, Harry wanted his presence, and I said, "No, at Wembley you need, you need someone that can keep the ball." And I was, I said, "Harry, you've got to." So I, I played my role, played my part, and uh, got Pedro on the pitch, and you know, Sonny Montari, Lester Diari, you know, we had some phenomenal players, Sol Man and David James, and you know, in Big Canoe, he was a, an awesome team, uh, and Nico Grunke, oh, some great players. It all started to go a bit wrong the next year, didn't it? And you kind of got thrown in at the deep end. Yeah, it was all a bit tricky, to be honest with you. We kind of knew what was happening. I actually hadn't signed my contract, you know, and it was all a bit messy. Um, and Harry went off to Tottenham and I was kind of in, in, a, in, a, you know, in between a rock and a hard place, they call it. And uh, the owner kind of about three weeks, you know, six weeks into the job, sent to me, we kind of 
we're doomed as it were and I went oh thanks very much what do you do there so I did the transfer window uh, tried to recruit as much as I could get rid of as much as I could uh, and then in the February early February I went I, I, you know I can't work for this man anymore he did you know you, I said to Peter story I said Peter you, you know I'm sorry pal I got you know I'm too I'm too old to work sorry about idiots you know I mean I, I couldn't and I'm sorry for that, you know what I mean? Because I did feel like I was letting the fans down and I thought, you know, could have made it persevere and, and try to stick with it. And then again, you kind of actually, you know, it, I, I just couldn't work for those people, I'm afraid. So, uh, so I had to, you know, mutual consent and got me out of here. Currently, how do you see this game going tonight? Probably only one way. Yeah, like I say, I came down and watched the game against Southampton, uh, South End. Yeah, when Sol brought his team here and Pompey had a good win on the night uh, and he kind of turned a corner from then with, with Kenny, I love Kenny he's worked in every division he's, he's first class, you know, I love Kenny to bits so, you know, he's always been respectful and the work he did at Swansea was really underestimated, phenomenal phenomenal coach uh, and a great leader and, uh, and, and he's kind of turned it around from the South End game and we've gone a bit of a uh, but this is a one-off in the FA Cup games, one off for me. Like you say, this if you, if I was Kenny, I would, I'd be trying to do an AC Milan on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just get you know, just have a go, and that's all the fans here or ever wanted. To be honest with you, that's all they wanted. They don't mind losing five, six nils here as long as you've you. Every player on the field is committed and, and throwing everything because the stadium's conducive to that. You know what I mean? It's like a, a, if you're a, if you're a player here and you're giving everything, the crowd are right with you. If you're maybe what should we say cheating a bit um, the crowd are going to know it because they're on top of you and uh, yeah Kenny's just got a, I would do a full press with these guys to be honest with you they still like playing out from the back weirdly and I, I would be made into Pompey's hands if they can actually press on, on Arsenal hopefully Arteta will tell the Arsenal people to actually turn the table and, 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 and play in Pompey's half but I don't think I think he's persisting in playing, trying to play out from the back. I think that will work in Kenny's favour. Yeah, and you never know, you get a goal. You know, I'd be trying to keep nil nil at half time if I was if Kenny and um, and take it from there. Arsenal have had difficult times in comparison. Do you feel they're on the way back now? I think this job's all about recruitment, and um, it's going to take him some time to get the right players in. To be honest with you, so after ten years, I've been banging on about you know not getting the balance right between offence and defence and they haven't got that right and it's going to take Arteta a few a few transfer windows and the people in the background you know they've got to really step up now Radu and Rao the head of football operations these are the people that have got to be more visible and bring some good players to the club and you've delved into rugby now as well yeah president I've got three more months of that to finish and uh, that's been great experience and humble Small little um, sport, and uh, they've, you know, it's been eye-opening. I've had a couple of uh, horrific stories, and uh, and their community, really community-based clubs. You know, I've got that from Portsmouth. To be honest, the people we are in a little community, everyone cares about the club. You know what I mean? You, you all stick together, and, and I get that from the rugby and the M62 corridor. All them teams like Wakefield and you know Hulkings and Rovers, and you know they're all community-based clubs. Do a lot for the local community and stick together when there's emergencies or bad times, which is. Something that the, maybe the Premier League clubs have kind of let go of a little bit. It's very humbling. From your playing time, of course, you're very committed to your charity as well. Yeah, oh, it's going, oh, that's going straight and stronger and stronger, unfortunately. Um, four services, yeah, and uh, 20 years now. I'm very proud of it. And we've helped, what, 1,200 uh, sports people last year um, with mental issues. So I'm very proud of it. I remember you fondly. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> there he is.